Just the bag alone, you can sell this for around $60. And if you combine it with the toiletries, you're looking at $80, which will give you about a profit margin of around 59%. What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a monogram duffel bag and travel kit using the Recoma MT1501 commercial embroidery machine. I'll take you through the entire process, including how to create your own monogram letters and how to properly hoop your luggage. Along the way, I'll also tell you a little bit about the MT1501 and why it's the perfect machine for this project. So be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can see to date with our latest videos. Now, let's go ahead and grab our materials. Follow me. All right, so for this project, we're gonna be using one blank duffel bag, four travel kits, 10 sheets of 2.5 ounce black stabilizer, our 4.25 inch Mighty Hoop, our standard 7511 embroidery needles, embroidery thread, and we're gonna be using our Recoma 1501 15 needle commercial embroidery machine. This machine is perfect for an embroidery project like this because it's a large embroidery area of 20 by 14 inches and oversized clearance area make it ideal for embroidering large, bulky items like duffel bags and luggage. For more information about this machine, click the link in the description below. Now that we have all our materials, it's time to digitize our design. First, I will click on my backdrop tool and upload my artwork as a PNG file. Next, I will come over to my backdrop tab, and since I've already measured the size of my embroidery area on my duffel bag, I will change my width to four inches and then hit apply. Now I will go to my toolbar and select my satin tool. And let's start with our C. So I will go through and click along the edges of my letter until I've built what looks like a ladder around my C. And instantly, my digitizing software converts my lines into stitches. Now I'll come down to the bottom and right click on my white color to convert my stitches to white. Then I'll come up here and turn on my realistic view to see what this will look like once I embroider my design. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to digitize my K. So first, I'll build a bridge down, running up the leg of my K, and I will stop just past where it joins with the rest of my letter. That's because when I digitize the top portion of my K, which I'll do right now, I'll extend this top stitch so that it overlaps the bottom to ensure my joint looks nice and seamless. Just like that. Now, I'll build my ladder down the spine of my K, and then I will repeat the same process for my J. All of my letters have now been digitized. I'll set my stitch density to 0 0.30. Then I'm just gonna come up here and click on this icon that looks like a speedometer to run a quick simulation to ensure this embroiders how I want it to. Now we'll save my design to my flash drive and we can go and hoop our bags. First things first, let's go ahead and cut out our stabilizer. So we're gonna cut out two sheets. Okay, go ahead and we're gonna grab our mighty hoop and a two sheet of stabilizer. And we're gonna place it right around there. So when my Mighty Hoop clamps on, we should be good to go there. All right, we've got our duffel bag hoop right above the zipper. Now let's go ahead and load it onto my machine. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and load our design. We're gonna go to file. And this is gonna be our initials right here. So we're using a mighty hoop. In this case, we are gonna use the measurements of the C hoop. All right. And I've already got my color chosen. This is gonna be white. So number six. And we're gonna go ahead and trace. Okay, and then just to be on the safe side, let's do our contour trace. Okay, so it's a little bit high, so let's go ahead and adjust it. We're gonna bring it down just a tad bit. Okay, and now let's try it again. Perfect, that's, that's the spot where I want it right there. We're ready to go. All right, so we've done our tracing, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the speed to 500, 500 stitches per minute, and that's all. We're good to go. All we have to do is press start, and we'll start embroidering.
All right, our duffel bag is done. Let's go ahead and take it out. And there you are. Now let's go ahead and unhoop it and let's clean it up. All right, our duffel bag is cleaned up. Let's go ahead and do our travel bags. All right, now we're gonna do our second bag. So same thing, let's go ahead and cut out two sheets of black stabilizer. So let's go ahead, let's do our placement. All right, so a quick tip, just to make sure that your hooping is done correctly, you wanna make sure that the U is facing the right. So, right over here, okay. We're now centered up. Now let's go ahead and load this up to our machine. All right, let's go ahead and let's do our trace. And now let's do our contour trace. All right, that placement looks good. All right, we're ready to go. Now let's go ahead and press start. All right, our first travel bag is done. Let's go ahead and take it out of our machine. All right, let's go ahead and hoop our next one. We're centered up. Now let's go ahead and let's hoop this into our machine. So since we're using the same monogram file, we're not changing any settings at all. It's gonna be exactly the same. All we're gonna do is do our trace. Let's do our contour trace. Placement looks good. All we have to do is press start. All right, so while this one's embroidering, let's go ahead and clean up our first travel bag. All right, we're done. And with time to spare. All right, bag number two is done. Let's go ahead and take it out of the machine. All right, we're halfway through our travel bags. Now let's go ahead and hoop our next one. So once again, two sheets of stabilizer. Okay, all right, we're centered up. And now we can go ahead and take this to our machine. Our contour trace. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, our placement's good. Now, let's go ahead and we can start embroidering. All right, so while this one is being embroidered, let's go ahead and clean up our last bag that we did. And once again, with time to spare. All right, our third bag is done. Let's go ahead and unhoop it. Once again, good to go. One more bag to go. Go ahead and unhoop this one. Once again, do our two sheets of stabilizer. Let's grab our hoop. Let's get our bag. And now let's go ahead and put it on our machine. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our trace. Let's do our contour trace. All right, that looks good. All right, our placement looks good. We're gonna keep it at 500 stitches per minute. All we have to do now is press start. All right, and while this final bag embroiders, let's go ahead and clean up this bag. And our final travel bag is done. Let's go ahead and unhoop it. And that's all there is to it. Our monogram luggage is officially complete. Let's go ahead and show this to Kyle. Representative. <laughs> Friggin' airline damaged my suitcase. Been blessing them out all morning and they sent me this replacement, but I hate it. I'll tell you what, can I take a look at it? Be my guest. I'll be right back. Well, what do you think? Dude, Andrew, 
Did you embroider my double bag? I sure did. It looks incredible. There's more though. Open up the bag. You embroidered the toiletry bags too. So what do you think? You like it more now? I absolutely love it. I'm gonna use the fire out of this. How much do I owe for no, this? No, 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 no. no, come on, I'm serious. What would you get if you tried to sell something like this online? Well. Let me think. All right, so you can buy a duffel bag like this online for $15. You can get a set of toiletry bags and a set of six for $23 or $4 a piece. And we roughly spent around $2 worth of embroidery and stabilizer. So our all-in cost is around $33 for this. However, just the bag alone, you can sell this for around $60. And if you combine it with the toiletries, you're looking at $80 which it gives you about a profit margin of around 59%. Not bad, I can do that all day. I'll just send the bill to the airlines. No problem, man. Seriously, dude, thank you so much. No problem, man, anytime and enjoy it. Absolutely. I'll see you later. All right, that's all the time we have for today. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next project or to get some more advice, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and custom apparel mastery group. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.